You want to bench more? Do a 60 second video to help you do just that. So first thing we want to do is some shoulder dislocations with a band to warm up our shoulders. Then we want to do some lateral and interior rotations with a very light weight to warm up the rotator cuffs and allow for blood flow to the joints. After that, we want to do some dead hangs to get that shoulder blade activation and warm up your glenoscapular joint. Following, we can either do some lat pull downs or in my case some pull ups to warm up the lats as lats actually play a huge role in stabilizing and controlling the weight. Now getting into the setup for bench, I do index on knurling, but just find something that's comfortable for you. Make sure when you grip the bar, your wrists are stacked on top of your elbows and not hyperextended like this. Stacking your wrists on top of your elbows allows for better transfer of power. Drive your traps into the bench as hard as you can while pushing your feet straight forward. Before the descent, lock your elbows and take a big brace breath. While descending, think of bending the bar in your hands while retracting your scapula. Meet the bar halfway by pushing your rib cage up while driving your legs forward hard. There you go. That's how I set up for bench and how I would recommend you do so as well. Let me know if this helps you or not. Follow for more tips.